Okay, so for the first step, go to your browser. After that, you want to search Java GDK download. Click the first link, scroll down. Now you want to download base your operation system. For me, I chose Windows and then select the compressed file. Click on this link. As you can see, it starts downloading. Just wait for a couple of minutes and then make sure to unzip the file and install Java successfully. Now for the next step, go to Windows Explorer, go to this PC. After that, select your C drive. Look for program files, select it, and then look for Java, select it too. From here, you want to select the file you just downloaded for me this one after that select bin now all you have to do is to copy this path Control c after that go to the windows search bar type in edit the system environment variables once this pop up select environment variables after that select new give a name for the variable and for the variable value make sure to paste the path you just copied after that select ok and once you did that you want to close everything go to android studio after that go to the hamburger icon top left corner go to tools after that go to sdk manager you want to go to android SDK location, select edit, after that select this file icon right here. Now you want to paste the path you just copied, select ok, it will start downloading, select next, it will install all the requirements and then select finish and you should be good to go. Now for the last step, go to device manager, select new, select the plus button, after that select create virtual device, choose your device, after that choose your release name, select next, choose your startup orientation, select finish and as you can see here, your problem should be solved. If you find it helpful, make sure to subscribe.